Hello friends, welcome back to Let's Play Close Combat, Last Stand Arnhem, with me, Lord Cucumber, and... Hey everyone, this is Lab. <laughs> Our uh, 9999 person has joined us today. <laughs> oh, for the people who don't get it, watch episode 9 <laughs> of uh, <laughs> Mount and Blade. Um, with, with Still. Yeah, yes, Scott Still. Wonderful stuff. All right, so um, um, we were uh, we, we were busy uh, taking uh, taking the rest of Holland, uh, Gelderland, in fact. Up here, things were getting quite heated as Knaust tries to take the bridge here, uh, the railway bridge, which has been destroyed, by the way, at Arnhem. He's been trying that for about three turns now, um, but. On the bright side, we made the Germans uh, capitulate here at uh, Nijmegen, which was a bitter battle as well. And last but not least, Eindhoven still has these Germans. And, uh, there is something red here at Schijndel. What the hell? Really? That means there's stuff there. Hmm. We should go and check that out. Okay. Let's uh, let's uh, send in uh, some of the rear guards. There we go. See what happens. I am not quite sure what's going on there. So I'm it's just going to. the road. I got some family living over there. I'm just going to surround this territory with troops for the time being. To make sure that uh, whatever is there is uh, isolated. All right, Grave. We're going to move these troops up. This is the strategic phase, by the way. This means I'm going to. Uh, move everything. I can move everything through the territories that I've conquered. So that's what I'm doing. There we go. And I'm gonna leave some behind in Nijmegen. They can rest. They've been fighting as well. These people are gonna go to Oosterhout. There we go. I'm glad this area is still in my hands. It was a bit worrying. <laughs> um, yeah, this tank. What's what's there to the right? But that's Germany, I think. This this is where the Germans have their. Uh, Panarden, that's uh, Germany, definitely. And this is Husen at the at the border, basically. Um <coughs> Westervoort is also still Holland. But uh, yes, to the right here is Germany and possible reinforcements coming. But uh, just far uh, we've been lucky enough. Um, let's see. Um, it is probably going to be a night battle, by the way. Or night, okay. uh, night conflict. So. Oh, Panarden is still the Netherlands, by really? the way. Really, is Panarden the Netherlands? Yeah. I thought it was Germany already. Okay, well, good to know. All right, let's see. These guys have limited cohesion left. These guys are okay. I think I'm gonna move these guys north, and I'm just gonna have these troops move into this. I can't. Why not? Can I move stuff from there? Wait. Maybe we can move these guys this way. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, move over there, and you guys are ready to move back there. Yeah, so there we go. That'll be it. And the rest, um, I guess I could move up to the Papendals uh, Heide and start taking that again, but I want to get rid of Knaus and his companions here. <laughs> so. Johanna Hoeve Farm? Yes. That's Johanna Farm Farm. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Right. <laughs> okay, so we've got uh, fresh troops here now with Cromwell tanks. Lovely. <laughs> That'll okay. be interesting. And here we are. Chill has popped up with Jagd Panthers. Oh my God! I had, had not anticipated that. And there is an understrength U.S. Uh, paratrooper team there. So that is not good news. I knew he was going to do something, but he's going to try and get to these guys and um, break them out of their little pocket. And he has at least one Jagdpanther there, so that is not good. And these are Fallschirmjäger, look, FJ. So there are they are tough motherfuckers to handle. These just dropped in. I think they, well, they, they snuck in, probably from the western... Uh, W from Western Holland, or Western Brabant. Uh, wasn't that area like green some minutes ago? Yes, but uh, the AI has certain uh, um, 
points that he that uh, he can um, move into uh, from the map edge, which is actually what happens in real uh, in the real operation. Uh, the 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 road that went from uh, Belgium all the way up to Nijmegen and uh, a little bit up to Arnhem. Uh, it was beset by German troops constantly. It was a, a corridor that was very narrow and was constantly being pounded by, by German troops as far as they could spare them. But this is actually quite a, a strong force. I'm, I'm not too happy with that. <laughs> but we'll have to wait and see. And our first conflict is going to be at Wegel. Wegel, actually, um, historically, there was a, a quite a big fight at Wegel, if I recall correctly. Uh, between uh, reinforcing German troops and um, the uh, the Allies that were uh, camped there, so okay. we're gonna have to wait and see in how that's gonna turn out. I want to hold the territory if I can. If I can keep them in a corner, I can reinforce these uh, these troops by sending in some tanks. Hopefully, I have some tanks right here, Wolverines. So who knows? We might get lucky. Wolverines, those are uh, Canadian tanks Wolf or something? No, no, Wolverines are um, uh, American tanks. Basically, they're tank destroyers with an open-topped turret, uh, but uh, a, a, a movable turret. So they're sort of a half-tank, half-tank destroyer. They're really okay. nice. They're really, really good stuff. So, All right, well, um, I have very little... So these are, so these are all pretty much medium tanks? Yes. Basically, um, okay. So we've got 101st Airborne Division here, uh, with uh, well, I think we should use one of our bazooka teams. <laughs> I'm gonna move these guys out. They have wounded. So, hey, weren't those the guys who were um, uh, fighting at Osterhout at the Battle of Arnhem? Um, no, and that's Osterbeek. And, uh, and, yeah. and I think you're thinking about the uh, not the 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 101st Airborne from the United States, but the first Airborne of the British forces. Well, I recall the um, badge you see in the, to in the top right corner mm -hmm. uh, in the Oosterhout Museum where we uh, went last year. Yes, that's because they helped the, um, uh, the, they helped the, uh, uh, the Red Devils, the British paratroopers, escape okay. from, uh, from Oosterbeek. So that's that's actually really uh, oh wow you remember that <laughs> uh, cool <laughs> these guys only have a company headquarters left they no longer have platoon headquarters so thi this is definitely an understrength uh, situation I am gonna remove one of these teams and get a 30 caliber machine gun that I don't have never mind we'll have this <laughs> right all right so got right maybe you can call in space marines. <laughs> I wish I could, but I'm afraid <laughs> that is not an option. Okay, the Germans attack. Um, cool thing is, uh, yeah. they are attacking in the open field, right here. So we have every option available to stop them right here. We can make a sort of a corridor and uh, make sure that they don't um, move out of that corner if we... Uh, if we play our cards right. So that's what we're okay. going to do. It's but instead of worrying about cards, I'd suggest to shoot them. <laughs> we will, we will. Let's see. Uh, is your army entrenched or in buildings or something? I can put them in buildings. I am going actually going to do that. I'm going to have one machine gun uh, rifle team right here on ambush in this building because the Germans are going to cross this field somewhere. And this this area okay. in Kuvering also is um, is a good place to put um, that kind of unit. So yes, I want to put my uh, bazooka team as close as I possibly can to the open road here because I expect the tanks will be coming down the road, um, ready to uh, to do some damage. So I'm going to put them on there and hopefully they can shoot the tank before anything else happens put these guys on ambush they are actually in a pretty good spot I think mm, no they're not <laughs> if I put them over here mm, no they're not so what about if I move can I not move them a little bit closer to the road apparently not just gonna try that see if I can nudge them a little bit to the yes this is what I wanted 
But I still can't see too much because they're down in a ditch, of course. I forgot, these are dikes. These are actual Dutch dikes. <laughs> Sounds horrible, I know. Okay, there we go. Um, let's see, we had this beautiful little building here that we're going to use. We're going to put the rifle team in there. Uh, no, we're not going to put them on the fence. We're going to put them ambush. There we are. Everyone is going to be on ambush. I do that because I want to make sure that I don't uh, get spotted. Makes sense? Lab? Are you still yeah. there? <laughs> well, uh, the connection has been, has been chopping up again, so I'm keeping easy when it happens. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to have my 60mm mortar here on this square. So nearby, but not uh, on the right on top of them. There's the company headquarters, which we will put up here in this building. There we go. And we've got another rifle team here that we will put well, up here, I guess. There we are. All right, this this will work. Um, then we have another bazooka team, which hopefully can do something when they're around here. I don't know. I really, I honestly don't know if they're gonna do something useful, but we're gonna try uh, putting them on ambush there. I think we have just about everything in place, so. We've got people in the buildings here, yeah, on the square, more or less. I'm still not too fond of having all these guys all huddled up. And the bazooka teams are, in, yeah, they're in a bad spot, I think. But well, we're gonna try it. Enemy spotted. Okay, they've been spotted here, the Germans, and here as well. Oh, cool! These guys have actually got a little pit there, so that's nice. <coughs> Hopefully the, the AI will uh, be uh, tempted to attack us. There's a couple of guys here, Panzer Shreks. I'm not hearing the <laughs> tank. That's interesting, I don't hear the tank yet. You know... <coughs> With the your voice chopping up, I should just create some sort of electronic uh, beat around here and just and just loop it while listening to you, and I get some excellent progressive house or something. <laughs> really? going wrong? Well, uh, the fight has definitely started. I am opening up. And here is the tank. So, that one is in a bad spot for us. I'm gonna move my, uh, my bombs up there. Okay, bite them in the ankles. Ah, oh, they're walking. That's stupid. It's gonna get them killed.
Alright, I'm gonna open up on these guys as soon as we see them. Oh, we got Kelly. We got one. See if we can sneak up these bazooka guys. You guys, for the record, I close the video transmission and now I hear you much better, so... Okay. Well, I can tell you what's going on. We have opened up on the enemy and they're trying to uh, get to us. going well. How are things going? Uh, not too well at the moment. No. I am uh, moving, <laughs> I'm retreating some of my units. <laughs> Ouch. Don't call us retreating. Call it a tactical timeout. Uh, I am actually. <laughs> Their forces are just too strong. Well, they are with a lot more guys than me. And so, yeah. Kind of. Yes. Two more rounds. Oh, well, they're actually taking quite a few losses. doing anything so I'm gonna try and get close to it. A couple there. That's our last chance we'll have. Oh dear. Oh move. No no no. Oh darn it. <laughs> Does it sound too well? No it doesn't. Come on, load it. We're not gonna stop. Try to confuse them and go by insulting them. Yeah, that might work. Why not be this I'm garbage? Trying to break the guys here, but uh, so far not so good. <laughs> nope. Oh darn, that was a bazooka and it almost hit it. Come on! I'm gonna try and get here. Oh no, he died. I no longer have an option to defend myself against the um That's blue. Against me? Against the tank. All my bazooka guys have died. So. Oh, no. Well, the Finns, the 
Finns created something against the uh, tanks. I know. But Molotov cocktails aren't in your uh, inventory. I'm gonna call for a truce. See if the uh, enemy wishes to uh, cease, cease firing. I sure as heck do. I think my morale will break soon. And then they're gonna capture the entire territory because I have to retreat. Not a good thing. At all. I killed quite a few of them though. Okay, that's good. Well... Okay, the Punisher Shrek guys uh, are now moving up. Those who died now aren't able to fight you another time, so... True enough. Okay, well we killed a couple of Germans. Apparently we secured an area. <laughs> Neat. The Germans are now uh, starting to uh, find this rather unpleasant. But that's cool. Get him. <laughs> Get him. Come on. Come on. Get him. There's this one guy trying to crawl up the covering to my company headquarters. No oh, Jay. <laughs> yeah. Fire. There we go. Our last mortar round actually killed someone. And we secured another area. They're trying to run towards me, and now they are moving up their tank. So you have a chance to take the tank out? Well, if it moves alongside me, I will be able to uh, maybe ambush it. Yes. Okay. But I should have I should have waited with the with the bazooka guys. I always make that mistake, uh, and I would have been able to uh, to blast him. But I had no longer have troops to do that. Uh, that's a bit unfortunate. Oh well, something uh, to remember for the next uh, similar fighting situation. Yes. I've asked for a truce, but the Germans are probably not going to take it. Okay, the tank is moving now. I'm gonna move alongside it really quickly. See if that helps. See if I can throw a grenade inside or uh, uh, at the side of it. Uh, throwing grenades. It's a last ditch attempt at taking out the tank. And these guys are our heroes and they're dying. No, no. Mm. Oh no. Get out. Get out now. Oh, nope. He's unconscious. And okay. Well, they haven't taken the entire area yet. They've only taken a few points. And we still have the main uh, line of defense at the river. So uh, we have a good chance of moving in ta with tanks in during the day and uh, uh, regaining control. If that. Uh, Jagd Panther does not become a problem. Alright, we're gonna have one more fight. Uh, are you gonna be um, 
watching still or are you unable to watch? Lab? Um, I'm not able to watch anything. I don't I don't I don't have the video stream on either. Okay, so okay. Well, I'm just listening. Okay, well, uh, we're going to defend the railway bridge at uh, Arnhem. I think I will have less trouble there. Um, it's uh, it's going to be quick, I think. All right. Apparently, I have two empty slots here. That's nice. What kind of troops can I put in there? Uh, rifle groups? Can I add them in? I cannot. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to break the connection for a little bit. Hopefully it's better when I call you back. Okay. There we go. Yeah, this is much better. Now you don't sound like a... Uh, <laughs> well, it was an experiment, right? <laughs> it was an experiment, so... Okay. All right, so I am going to check what this guy has. He's got a Tiger here and a Panzer 3M and reserve groups. So you lost Vegel? Yeah, well, no. I actually still hold Vegel, but uh, barely. I'm going to have to send in some of those tank units to mop okay. up uh, the Germans and uh, take out the uh, the Jagd Panther, which is definitely the biggest problem. But... Uh, I I feel confident that we might uh, take it out next time. Uh, okay, well this may turn out interesting. Interesting indeed. Um, can I add some of those guys in? I wonder. Cannot. Okay. Mm, remove. I need Piats there because he has tanks there. I'll just move the rifle group out and a Piat in there we go you guys can go and you guys can come back okay i'm i'm not sure what's going to happen with these grayed out blocks i have grayed out blocks here uh that's yeah that's what i thought i'm not getting any extra troops <laughs> ouch yeah that's that's going to be a big problem at some point but well well, too bad it isn't a science fiction game where you could uh, create clone vets or something. Yep. That would be nice. Who are you typing to? I'm not typing, I'm taking some licorice out of the uh, bag. <laughs> okay, well, uh, enjoy it. <laughs> um, it if I'm going to type, it will probably sound like some storm is going on or something. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Very well. For the record, it's something like. Okie dokie. That's typing. Mm, right. Okay. I'm trying to put these guys here on the in around the corner, but apparently I cannot. That's annoying. Okay, that's one. And where's the second piot? I have two piots. Right, this side of the river is thankfully m unoccupied. The south part of the river is still mine, so that's good news, I guess. Piaz? Yeah, Piaz, which is a projectile anti tank, inf uh, infantry and uh, projectile infantry anti tank. Okay. Uh, it's a short ranged anti tank weapon. Uh, fairly useful, um, although it would require like three guys to, uh, to operate. You have a loader, an assistant, and a gunner. <laughs> so. Oh, it's basically a field howitzer. Kind of. It lobs uh, high explosive rounds at uh, with armor piercing capability at the enemy, uh, but it's it's not as good as you might think. Um, it was one of those things the British invented uh, for uh, as a stopgap measure because they didn't really have um, a. a a, a rocket launcher like weapon so uh, this was sort of their alternative all right we've got another rifle group here and do I need to keep something in reserve I wonder I probably should but it's probably better yeah okay I'm just gonna put these guys out here on the fence no on ambush they're gonna be on ambush all right 
Okay. I'll put these guys on defend as well. There we go. Platoon headquarters. Piat in reserve there. Okay, let's start this thing. And of course the tanks have been put in a spot where I cannot possibly hit them, ever. But it's night, so I'm not too worried. Holy shit. Alright. Yeah, one of my groups has already been destroyed, almost. <laughs> it has just arrived on the field. Yeah, they did. It's okay though, I have a mortar present, so I'm just gonna lob some mortar rounds into them. See what I can hit. Hopefully. Come on. Yes, mortar rounds hit. Oh, I almost hit the tiger there for a moment. Almost. Almost. Well, yeah, but almost isn't good enough. Clearly. Oh, darn, the mortar round was short, and I lost an entire team of guys now. Ow. Yeah, definitely. Oh, but the Piat guys are doing their best. Are you trying to get them in a ditch where the other troops were? Uh, yeah. This is actually not going too well, if I may hmm. note. Maybe it's nope, the Piat team has been killed. Oh dear. Isn't it better to retreat all your groups and preserve them and just to give up the area? That would now? probably be the best thing to do right now, but... Uh, It might be a lost battle, but it won't be the, a lost war, at least. Mm. Maybe. I'm moving these guys up so that I can have some sort of defense. Oh my goodness, they got hit. They got clipped by the... Uh, uh, this is not going as, as planned. Oh dear. Yeah, Parabrain group has been killed. Yeah. We might lose this very badly. Because of the tanks. We don't have anything to stop the tanks. Nothing at all, actually. And now my artillery unit has been spotted. And force morale is critical. And wow, I'm actually taking a beating in this episode. Yep. Well, some of my guys have surrendered. Oh dear. Yeah. I my guess. Apologies, folks. I join, and uh, he's getting his ass kicked. <laughs> well, that's uh, in this case, it had nothing to do with it. I uh, <laughs> I can already tell you that um, things were not going as I planned to begin with. So. Yeah, those Germans. Those silly Germans. Well, he's not moving the tanks. That's that's just mean, keeping the distance. Well, why should you change your winning formula? Yeah, that is true, I guess. But you don't have the opportunity to call in airstrikes or something? Well, I, I should have planned those if I wanted them. So, no. And here we go. Uh, they actually took part of the bridge there, because uh, Allied morale broke. Oh, darn it. Okay, well, we're back in the strategic phase. And now Chill has uh, received a reinforcement from Walter, which is a Fallschirmjäger group. I knew I should have kept some troops down south, but uh, I didn't. <laughs> and to make matters worse, the pa uh, there's a Panzer Abteilung coming in at Velp, uh, ready to take down Arnhem, and <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, you can laugh, you can laugh all you want, 
and Knaust is still there with his stupid f stupid troops and uh, I'm gonna have to pull these guys out but we'll do that next time um, okay well uh, things have become slightly more complicated um, which makes it more interesting for the next episode of course yes I agree I completely agree anyway drama. yes drama <laughs> thank you all for joining us uh, well lab uh, thank you for joining me in the commentary and hopefully next time we'll be doing this over cable so that you won't have a choppy <laughs> connection as you did but you were uh, clear as a bell here so okay, cool. Ding dong. all right see you all next time bye bye see ya bye